I'm Joey. I'm one of our uh, lab directors, and I also serve as a forensic toxicologist for the North Louisiana Crime Lab. Uh, toxicology is the study of the adverse effects that drugs and chemicals have on um, living organisms. And so here at the NLCL, our toxicologists are, are challenged with um, really following a unique process of trying to isolate drugs and alcohol um, from biological specimens. And so our, our time is, is really split 50-50. You're about 50% in the laboratory where you're analyzing blood specimens, you analyze urine specimens, uh, oral fluid specimens, and sometimes bodily organ specimens. And what you try to do is you send them through a, a series of chemical extraction steps in order to isolate and concentrate those drugs. Uh, the second half, the other 50% of the job, is, uh, is utilizing some uh, incredibly sophisticated instruments and, uh, and highly sensitive instruments, uh, such as liquid chromatography and tandem mass spectrometry. Probably the best part about being a forensic toxicologist, and I'm biased, is that um, uh, it, it's, to me, an ultimate mystery. Um, we don't ever have any idea of what um, might be in a, a, a potential biological specimen. Um, for us, we're tasked with trying to explain, sometimes for the courts, um, or to assist with medical examiners uh, in, in, in the cause of death. And so we look for drugs at uh, particular concentrations that might be contributory um, towards the cause of death or might be the cause um, of a particular car crash. And so um, to me, that's something that's truly unique about this job. Uh, in order to be a um, uh, forensic scientist in our um, in our crime lab uh, dedicated to forensic toxicology we require a bachelor's degree degrees are commonly in the field of chemistry or biochemistry uh, pharmacology or toxicology and and to me there's always been key courses that you need to be a good laboratory in here and that's inorganic chemistry organic chemistry analytical chemistry and, and, and physical chemistry, um, all of those things will suit you up well to be an employee here. Um, for anyone that might be interested in working for the NLCL, um, certainly your academic credentialing is key for us to, um, but, but the truth is it, it, you have to be filtered through um, uh, other things first, such as being a good co-worker. And so I'm proud of the team that we have, uh, not only in our toxicology section, but elsewhere. Um, you have to be a good co-worker. You have to be someone that people like to work alongside of and, uh, and, and someone that whenever we look to the left and the right, uh, they see you pulling. And, and the second thing is you have to be a hard worker. Uh, this job at times is not as glamorous as you might think, and you have to have dedication um, that goes way beyond a routine um, job or a J-O-B as I like to say. You have to be able to work hard day in and day out, and if you do that, I think this is one of the most rewarding careers you can have.